So as you guys know, the 1.13 Aquatic Update is going to be coming fairly shortly now. And what I thought would be a nice idea is if we went ahead and made a bunch of house designs that incorporated as many of the new 1.13 Aquatic features as possible. So as a result, I thought it would be a nice idea to showcase to you guys five Aquatic Houses. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And without further ado, let's get straight into this. So Aquatic House number one, size 10 by 10. Now I should say the first three houses all here are indeed a 10 by 10 space. Uh, the other two larger ones here we'll get into in just a bit. But like I say, what I wanted to do with all of these houses is, is try to incorporate as many of the 1.13 features as we possibly can. So let's go and start off with this first base here. Now as you can see, this is a very, very standard house shape, but instead of this place being sort of part of the house, well it is part of the house, what I decided to do instead is make it into a bit of a fish tank. And you guys are going to notice that there is a bit of a reoccurring theme as we go through this in that all of the houses have fish tanks, which pretty much showcase to you guys all of the aquatic stuffs. Well, if not all of them, then as many as possible. So as you can see, we've got the coral fans. We've got coral blocks in there. We've got some kelp in there. We've got sea pickles down the bottom there. We've also gone ahead and got ourselves some seagrass in addition to some tropical fish here and there. Now, I'm not going to lie. One of my more favorite parts of this build is actually this little exterior garden section. Not only do we have sea pickles here for decoration, but the thing I like most, weirdly, is actually this sort of prismarine slab chain link kind of fence. I don't know. I think it's really, really nice. And one thing, again, you guys are going to notice is I have incorporated the brand new prismarine slabs and stairs, whether it be the brick prismarine, the regular prismarine, or of course the dark prismarine. They are all part of all of the builds here today. So why don't we go ahead on the inside of this house and see what is going on. So I'm not going to lie. The first two houses, which I'm going to be showcasing to you guys, are pretty basic. They're very, very basic houses. They're not really there to, to, you know, to have you guys live in there for, like, the entirety of your wards, right? These are very, very basic things which, you know, if you go ahead and take down an ocean monument, you should be able to whip these up fairly shortly after. So, as you can see, for example... We've got ourselves a little bedding area here. And of course, we've got some basic storage chests of furnace. Again, sea pickles for decoration. And you guys are probably going to notice something here. Look at these. They don't have any kind of top, right? They look like sort of little green cacti type things. And that is because they are not producing light. When sea pickles are placed in open air, these things will not produce light. Whereas, if you go ahead and check out the sea pickles in there, they have little they have little stems coming out of the top of them, little stalks. And those things mean that uh, they are indeed producing light because they produce light on the water, but when it's open air, they do not. So yeah, again, as you can see, we've got the coral blocks, the coral fans, we've got the tropical fish in there. And just all in all, I think this is a really, really nice part of the build. And talking of nice parts of the build, we can head outside here. We've got ourselves a little seating area here. And again, with the prismarine slab chain link fences, uh, we've managed to make it look pretty nice. I, th I really do feel like this looks really, really cool. But if there was one suggestion that I could make to Mo Yang in this video, it's that we get prismarine fences. I'm not entirely sure how realistic that would be in the grand scheme of things, but could you just imagine, instead of using oak or wooden fences of any kind, could you imagine using prismarine fences? I think that would be fantastic. Now, I'm well aware, oh, hey, they've just, oh, they've just added the slabs and stairs, but, you know... It's always nice to keep the suggestions flowing in, right? So, yeah. But anyways, there's the first build right there. So, moving on to the second base. This has a very much more unorthodox shape. A shape which I ordinarily wouldn't really go for. And what I've tried to do with this particular house is, A, introduce some colour with the coral blocks. As you can see, we have four corners of red coral blocks. And what that, of course, means is we actually have four fish tanks inside of this place, just in the corners alone. Now, again, the shape is very, very unorthodox. It's not a shape that I would try and typically build with, but uh, I think I've done a fairly okay job of trying to keep things looking uh, fairly okay. Like, we've got the sea lanterns, we've got the prismarine bricks sort of, uh, you know, breaking up the dark prismarine textures. And again, we've got the oak doors here just for a little bit of a, I mean, why not kind of procedure, right? So let's go inside the house and let's have a little bit of a look. Again, it is very, very basic. This is for those of you guys who just want a place for like a few Minecraft days before you build something else, for example. So, yeah, as you can see, as I was saying, 
we have four fish tanks. Now, each of these fish tanks host a variety of different things. All of them have soul sand in, so they produce bubbles that go upwards, which is really, really nice. Again, we've got tropical fish. We've got the coral fans. We've got the seagrass. We've got ourselves the kelp here. We've got some sea pickles here. And, you know, pretty much, you know, throughout the entirety of this video, it's going to be recurring themes like sea pickles as decorations. We've got fish tanks in every single house. And not just that, there's also a little fish tank down here. Decided to put one in the floor because... I mean, why not? <laughs> I thought it looked pretty nice. And yeah, again, we've got the storage, we've got the beds, we've got ourselves the furnaces, and of course the crafting table. And in my opinion, I actually kind of like the interior. I am a big, big fan of this ceiling. Now, I know for the most part, it is all one material, aside from the sea lanterns, of course, but I really, really do like the usage of the upside down stairs here. I really, really enjoy the shape of this ceiling here. I don't know if you guys do. I hope you do, of course. But uh, yeah, just all in all, I think this is pretty nice. So again, let's have a little bit of an exterior shot of this thing. Uh, it's pretty nice. And again, it fits within a 10 by 10 space. So if you guys went ahead and downloaded this world, which you can do if you look in the description, you can go and chuck down structure blocks and you can copy paste these builds to your own worlds if you so wish. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting into the slightly more extravagant builds. Believe it or not, this is still a 10 by 10 space. But as you can see, it is a lot bigger than the other two builds. And this one is indeed one which I feel like you'll be able to live in for a decent amount of time. Now, as you can see, the roof goes up pretty darn far. And that's for good reason. This is actually a two-floored house, which is really, really nice. And again, we're using sea pickles for decoration. I decided to use upside-down prismary stairs or dark prismary stairs to try and break up the textures, add a little bit of depth to the front and back of this house. And in addition to that, we've got to sell some oak trap doors, which have uh, sea lanterns behind them. I kind of figured that might be a nice idea. So let's just have a bit of a look around. Uh, you may be able to notice we have a bit of a culmination of regular prismarine and dark, not dark prismarine, prismarine bricks, should I say, uh, sort of going through the roof there, which I think is kind of nice. A lot better than just having one solid material, I would say. So yeah, again, I think this is a pretty nice build, but uh, I think the nicest part is probably on the inside. So let's go and have a look. Once again, we have ourselves a fish pond beneath us. And in addition to that, we have a little fish pond right here. Another little 2x2 two two thing similar to the first house. But again, we've got ourselves some coral blocks, coral fans, uh, soul sand, sea pickles, seagrass. And in this one, I actually managed to squeeze in a level 30 standard enchanting area. Now, yeah, you could probably say that this is a bit crowded. And yes, you could also say that my voice cracked a little bit there. But it's all good. But yeah, as you can see, we've got like ender chests. We have an anvil here. We've got ourselves, once again, sea pickles for decoration. And got ourselves some chests. Now, because these are actually stair blocks, I can still open the chests here, which is really, really nice. And just to prove to you guys that this is level 30, as you can see, there it is. Very, very nice. I really, really like putting fish tanks inside of builds now. Oh, I'm so looking forward to making proper, like, aquatic settlements in 1.13 survival. I think that's going to be really, really cool. But anyways, the utility area is downstairs. Let's go upstairs to the bedroom. And as you can see, we've got ourselves a very, very nice bedding area uh, along, again, with some more utility type stuff. So we've got furnaces, chests, storage, uh, sea pickles for decoration. I decided to put some flower pots in as well because it's me. It's flower pots. I mean, I love flower pots, man. I really, really do. I, I would go as far as to say that they are like one of my favorite decorative items in Minecraft. Legit. I really do feel like flower pots are freaking awesome so yeah but there we go there is the third house right there looking pretty nice if i do say so myself but ladies and gentlemen you thought that that was a bit of a step up let's go ahead and check out this behemoth of a build this is a 16 by 16 area which for those of you guys who don't know is exactly one chunk in Minecraft and as you can see it is very much a large house type build now of course we've got this slightly more unorthodox temple type build to showcase to you guys in just a bit but let's check out this one here first now as you can see once again I've used the upside down dark prismarine stairs to try and break up the textures try to add a little bit of uh, depth to the front and back of this build and in my opinion I think it's done a pretty nice job now of course again sea pickles for decoration uh, for those of you guys unaware you don't necessarily have to put four down you could put one 
two, three, four in the same block, which is really, really cool. So again, you could have a little bit of variation that way if you really wanted to. Again, with some more flower pots around the edge here. We've got some trapdoors with sea lanterns behind them for a little bit of exterior lighting. And some of you guys may be wondering, well, this is 16 by 16. And yes, this dark prismarine area is the actual area itself. But uh, yeah, for those of you guys wondering, yes, I do include trapdoors in the counting of these houses. So for example, if I took both of these trapdoors off, uh, it would only be a 15 by 16 build. But since there are trapdoors, this is indeed 16 by 16. So let's go ahead and check this out. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the centerpiece of this building. I am a big, big fan of this. I genuinely am. Now, as you can see, it's actually a very, very large 4x4 four four tank. And it's got so many things inside it. It's got like a whole bunch of coral blocks. We've got yellow coral. We've got blue. We've got purple and red in there as well. Got some more sea kelp, sea grass. We've got some coral, coral fans, soul sand to provide bubbles. It's just looking good, isn't it? It's looking really, really nice. I really like that this is the centerpiece of this build and then like everything else is sort of around it. Now, as you can see, again, I've tried to incorporate an enchanting area here alongside uh, some chests here, one of which being an ender chest. Again, a level 30 standard enchant, which is really, really nice. And I decided also to go ahead and put in some armor stands here. Because this build is so big, I couldn't actually think of what to put to like fill it up. So, yeah, decided to put some turtle caps on a bunch of armor stands because... Uh, yeah, these are a 1.13 feature as well, so why not? <laughs> but anyways, guys, as we go to the back of the room here, this is the storage area for all of the aquatic stuff. So, you know, we've got the different types of coral, and then we've got the different types of prismarine, and of course, our old favorite, the sponge block. So yeah. In addition to that, I also went ahead and decided that, oh, hey, we've got these sort of uh, staircases going upstairs. Why don't we do, like, a Harry Potter deal and put a bunch of stuff under the stairs, right? A little under the stairs utility area. I thought that would be pretty cool. So why don't we head up to the, to the first floor here, or second floor, depending on how you count your floors. And uh, this is, once again, where that prismarine fence idea comes in. Like, how nice would this area be? Like, how much nicer would this area be if we had prismarine fences? fences for the little tables here. Uh, yep, for those of you guys unaware, or you haven't figured it out, this is a little sort of seating area, a little table area. Again, using sea pickles for decorations in addition to sea lanterns. Looking very, very nice. Now, back here, we have ourselves a little sort of more generic utility area. We've got ourselves another under the stairs utility area as well. We've got ourselves some brewing stands, and if you wanted to for some reason have low-level enchants, you can use that one there. And over here, we've got ourselves an anvil in addition to the anvil downstairs. But... Where this place really shines, in my opinion, is actually the top floor. Because as you can see, we've got, once again, a nice little utility slash worktop area with more brewing stands, furnaces, chests, all sorts of stuff. And uh, probably my favorite thing about this build, just in general, is this centerpiece fish tank. I, I adore this. I really, really do. Like, to the point where, like, on my Python's World single-player Minecraft survival world, I'm very tempted to actually build this in one of my builds on there. But uh, yeah, guys, as you can see, this is the little bedroom area. We've got a little beds there, and we've got ourselves a bunch of storage. Now, the cool thing is, this is openable, because these actually go out to the, you know, this goes to the outside world, right? And because these are stair blocks, you can still open the chests, which is really, really nice. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Even the, like, even the top of this house, I really, really enjoy how this house looks, both on the inside and the exterior. Like, uh, this is probably, like, one of my proudest builds. And, th and that's really saying something because, honestly speaking, I feel like Prismarine is, like, a really challenging block to build with and get right. You have to try and get the balance between the different types of Prismarine right. Otherwise, you're just going to have yourself a big wall, which is just all one decoration. And it's not the nicest looking thing in the world. But, you know, factor them all in together and balance out the amount you're using. And you've got yourself a pretty banging looking build. I mean, look at this up here. Like, this is where the fish tank actually stops up at the roof. So this is indeed like a little skylight system. And look, all of the fish are up here. <laughs> this is funny. I find it really, really awesome how they just shoot up in the soul sand uh, bubble stream here. <laughs> oh, dear. I find that really, really awesome. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and check out the final build, which, again, is a slightly more unorthodox shape. But for those of you guys who haven't figured it out, it is basically an enlarged version of the second build here. Uh, this one's red, and I decided that, oh, hey, 
why don't we have ourselves a blue build? So as you can see, we have, once again, four fish tanks in the corners, in addition to a fish tank in the floor. And this one, I've tried to utilize as much space as I possibly could without sacrificing on the aesthetics of it, right? So over here, we've got ourselves a very basic storage area. We've got ourselves a very basic uh, bedding area and a little utility area down here as well. But where this building shines, in my opinion, is when you go upstairs. Look at the use of this space up here. We have ourselves a level 30 standard enchanting area. Once again, just to prove it, there you go, Smite 4. And uh, yeah, we've got all of these little glass skylights in as well. I really, really enjoy this top area. And I love the fact that you can still see all of the fish tanks in the corner here. Got to solve some storage, anvils, pretty standard stuff. It's got to solve some flower pots as well, because again, it's me. I love flower pots. And uh, yeah. It's really, really nice. And even then, you can just walk out to the front here. Ding dong. Oh, hey, there's someone at the door. I can see them from up here. What an ant they look like. <laughs> oh, dear. But yeah, I really enjoy this board. Again, it's not a shape that I would ordinarily build with. So I'm, I'm kind of happy with this one. I'm kind of happy with this one for that very reason. Like I've tried something that is completely out of my traditional comfort zone. And in my opinion, I don't think this looks too bad. Now, of course, that is pending your guys' feedback in the comments area below. And by all means, if you guys uh, have any tips for me or you want to see some various other things in future, please do be sure to let me know. But that is the final build right there. Again, once again, it is... A 16 by 16 fits within one chunk. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out this uh, world download, so you can use structure blocks to copy and paste these words to, or to copy and paste these builds to your own world, should I say, then by all means go ahead and do so. But obviously, the goal of this video was to go ahead and provide you guys with inspiration for when 1.13 comes, and you guys might be wanting to go ahead and build some stuffs with the brand new aquatic items. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is indeed going to wrap it up for this video, though. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video or this style of video please do be sure to let me know with a like rating because it's, it has been a long time since i've done any kind of creative showcase uh video and it would mean the world to me if you guys dropped a like rating to show your support because that is the best way to let me know oh hey i might want to see some more of this so yeah and talking of seeing more maybe you guys could suggest some themes in the comments area below like for example today's video it was five aquatic house designs maybe in future we could have five medieval house designs five future Futuristic house designs, five uh, modern mouse, modern mouse, modern house designs, should I say. But uh, yeah, guys, let me know. I would appreciate any feedback you have for this video in the comments area below. But for now, my friends, as I said, map download in the description down below. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Hit the subscribe button. Ding that bell as well if you don't want to miss out on my future Minecraft videos. Do be sure to check out my single player Minecraft survival series as well, Python's World. And uh, yeah, that'll wrap it up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time.